Hey, welcome back. This is episode 19, and we are going to head to the Mage's Tower and uh, use our treaties to get them to help us, and hopefully get them to come help out little Connor as well, so we can exercise the demon from him. Alright, so let's take Morgan, because I think it'd be funny to have her in the Mage's Tower. And we'll take Duncan, and... Oh, this is tough, because I've been using Alistair a lot. Let's use... Stan. Yes. Even though it'd be cool to have a former Templar in the tower. Um, Alright, so to get there we have to go to the Lake Kalanhad docks first. So here we go. And I might do some DLC after this. But, uh, we'll see. Oh, we've been intercepted. What do we have here? Oh, this guy! I remember this guy, old Tegrin. He's the, does he get ambushed or something? Or does he just sell stuff? You have coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. What's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Alright, let's see this discount. Um, so this is a guy you run into a lot while traveling from city to city. And sometimes it gets annoying because you're like, I just want to get where I'm going. I don't want to stop and trade with him. Um, he's got some gifts, which I guess we could probably buy while we're at it. I don't know. Maybe later. Tome of Skill and Sundry. Oh, this grants a skill point. I could use that, because I, uh... I could use that to get the second tier of herbalism. Uh, I don't know. Do I actually want that, though? What's this? Nice amulet. As a rule, I don't like buying things in MMOs because they tend to be outdated after a couple levels. And you can usually find better loot eventually that will override them. So it's better to save up for something you're not going to replace for a very long time, if ever. Now that's good to, that's good to spend money on, though. A Tome of Skill and Sundry. Urgh. That is a lot of gold, though. I think I'm probably going to pass for now, but maybe the next time we run into this guy. Mm, I wish I knew how long it was going to be until I leveled up and got another skill, though. Yeah, I'm going to wait. We'll see this guy again. We can always buy it later. But good to see you anyway, old Tigran. There's an elf root there. I guess there's nothing else, really. All right, we must hurry. I like how we go all the way around that way. You think there'd be like, where's the map? Like a bridge over here? Couldn't you just go that way? That would make sense. Oh, uh, looking at this makes me want to play like an Elder Scrolls game again, where you could actually like find all these lakes and just explore wildly. No, no, that's the way out. Okay. Elf or Death Root. What is the name they have for mother and I? Apostates? Truly, it boggles the mind. How? Alright. Oh, that guy is one of the, uh, one of the guys from our Blackstone Irregulars missions. You have some kind of problem. I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? I hear you stole supplies. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Yep. Alright. Let's get a cone of coal going. Oh, I missed you. That kind of sucks. Alright. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and do a... Is that guy over there? No. I'm gonna make a blizzard. Right on top of my own character. Run away. Did I interrupt my own blizzard? What happened? Now it's going. It's just kind of missed. As you say. Is that really a blizzard? Because it does not look like a blizzard. Well, I'm in trouble. Crap. Morgan, do any heals? She does not. Do 
they? Oh, this should be good. Oh, they auto level up while they're in camp. Because I feel like she's been getting spells without me choosing them for her. Not really sure I like that. Like, I have the level ups disabled. Hmm. Landmark boat. You can have him. Kind of too late now, I think, because. I don't think there's any more fighting in this little zone. Dagger. Another dagger. Liliana could use those. Kester. Well, look at this. I remember taking your cross when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pap used to tell me stories about them. Hello, Kester. Why aren't you manning the boat? Templars took the boat. So I can't get across? Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. Um, is there something wrong up at the tower? I told you. They didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got you something think? to do with magic. Uh... I should get going. You go on ahead then. They were nice talking to you. I suspect we'll find out in due time anyway. What is it, like a trident over here? Unfortunately, you can't use tridents in the game. Maybe it's like a pitchfork. Uh, spell fruit. Who is it? Mage Collective. Ah, I forgot about them. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. You've got a funny hat. I represent hat. a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Tell me more. The Collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Hmm. I'll take a look at it. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. So that's an interesting idea, that, uh... Mages policing themselves. But who watches the Watchmen? Um... I don't know, I think as long as you have phylacteries of all the mages, you could track them down. If things go bad. I don't see why not let the mages go free. Like, it's good to be cautious, but... At the same time. Oh, there's a lot of things. Places of power. Alright, I guess I can do that. The Brazilian Forest, the Deep Roads, the Heart of Denerim, and the Basin Circle Tower. Careless accusations. Stop these false witnesses. They're traveling along the road from Lothering to Denerim. Notice of termination. Um, deliver documents of congratulations to my apprentices. Let's see. Two in Denerim and one in Orzammar. Also, he's firing them. It's a shame. Thy brother's killer. Uh, Maleficarum. Alright. In the Brazilian forest. I remember some of these. And this is ten bundles of deep mushrooms. I have a lot of those, don't I? I feel like I do. I might have to leave the area and come back, though. Yeah, I plenty of mushrooms. A little something extra for friendship. There we go. His lips are not moving. Yeah, you got a gold from that, though. Good to see you again. You too. All right. Not sure how much gold actually scales in this game. Like as you go up, do you get more gold from enemies? I hope so, but I'm not sure how much. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Uh, why? I need to get to the tower. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. Um, I'm a mage. Let me in. No! Now go away! I guess you have to tell me you're a Grey Warden. 
I have some documents that compel the Circle to help me. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those. You're you know, I have me. some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah. I don't think he has those documents. My documents are actually real. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Well, there aren't any here. Yeah, there aren't any darkspawn here. Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want darkspawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. Uh... I thought it was black. Didn't Duncan say it's black? But now this guy is saying it's red. I could have sworn Duncan said you'll recognize Darkspawn blood because it's black. I want to say kill a Darkspawn and find out for yourself. That's a Grey Warden job. You'd know if you really were one. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Um. Your superior won't like that you've given me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. <laughs> uh, I never liked Gregor myself. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Yes, please do. Come along, I suppose. There she is. There used to be a bridge at one point. That's right, I don't think the mages built this tower. I think it was part of either the Tevinters or somebody else built it. It's a relic of the ancient past, and uh, I guess the bridge was either by accident or intentionally destroyed at some point. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. Uh, I'm gonna say good to see him again, even though it's it's really not. But I'll be friendly. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. Um, you're looking well yourself, if a bit harried. Perhaps. Now we're dealing with a situation that doesn't involve you, Grey Warden. This tower was my home. I want to know what's happened. I shall speak plainly. The tower do. is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. Uh... Jowan's escape seems small compared to the situation here. True enough. Guess we're both both at fault. What has become of the first enchanter? We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. Uh, you should have fought them. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations, not the horde that fell upon us. So what's your plan? I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Um, you shut everyone in there, including innocent mages? Not just mages, but my Templars also. I had no choice. The abominations must be contained at all costs. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. There we go. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. I forgot the name, though. The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. It's a little extreme. Um, there must be another way. If there was, do you not think I would have chosen it? There are only abominations left in this tower. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. 
It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. If you're so sure, why wait for the right? Only the Grand Cleric in Genarum can authorize the annulment of the Circle, and we must wait for reinforcements. If we enter the tower now, we will be massacred. I cannot order my men to their deaths. While the door holds, we wait. Genarum must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. So that's, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right, let's see. If I help you deal with the circle, will you lend me aid? If, by some miracle, you destroy the abominations, yes. The Templars will join your army. Without work oh, that's from right. Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. That's right, you actually don't need the mages to help you, you can choose to help the Templars instead. I forgot about that. Um, I need to think about the right course of action. Perhaps that is best. A Grey Warden has many other things to be concerned about. I don't want to commit to anything so soon. Um, I wouldn't mind saying I'm going to help them and then maybe change my mind later, but... Uh... Oh, I'm glad they put some loop back in these vases since we were gone. Buckle of the Winds. That could be good. Do you have a belt, Morrigan? You do. What about you, Sten? He does not. And now he does. Alright, now this guy has a lot of good stuff, I think. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Uh, do you have supplies for sale? Yes. Would you like to trade? Uh, hopefully this guy stays here after this whole crisis is over. I think he does, but I'm not 100% sure. Now that is one of the best best stabs in the game. Probably the best, actually. It's tier 7, 6 willpower, 2 mana regen, 6 spell power, and fire and spirit damage. Unfortunately, I don't use a lot of fire or spirit damage, but I guess I'll, I might be using some later on. I mainly use ice damage right now. But even so, that mana regen, the spell power, that's all pretty good stuff. Backpack. I'm going to buy that for now, I think. It's a cheap backpack. That's a really good belt, too. It's got to be one of the best belts in the game. Reinforced Magiskel. Another Tome of Arcane Knowledge. Give you another spell. Lyrium Dust. I should probably buy some of that, actually. So I can make more, uh... More potions. He does have unlimited of it, too. Let's buy, I don't know, 20 of these, maybe? I still need this spell. Does he have any recipes? Lyrium Potion Recipe. There we go. I still need improved herbalism, but... It's okay. We'll get to it eventually. Injury Kit Recipe. But that requires expert herbalism. It's very expensive, too, for a recipe. Maybe we'll wait on that, then. I'd like to save for that staff, too. Do, what, are there requirements to use it? Uh, requires 36 magic. How much do I have? Probably close to that, right? I have exactly 36, including my buffs from my current staff. So I don't know if I can use it with those or not. Probably. Either way, it's it's pretty darn close. So, how much was that? I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Do you need help? We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too. I already gave away most of my stuff, I think. I'm gonna sell this stuff because I was thinking about making some bombs and all, but I decided against it. I don't even think I need like the toxin extra. I probably need the death root. We'll keep it for now. Uh, since Liliana's not with me, I'm just going to go ahead and sell these. They're not that great anyway. Alright. Um, so I wanted to see how much that staff was. So much stuff I want to buy in this game, which I like, because it's good to have uses for your gold. A lot of games don't have that. Uh, 128 gold. 129 almost. We'll have to start saving then. 
This is the prison for your mages? Ours is not so grand. Major. I would not want to be a Quinari mage. Alright, give me Commander Gregor. Yes, was there something else you wanted? The circle cannot be left like this. I will help you. This must be resolved quickly. If you can destroy the abominations, I will pledge my men to your cause in return. Sounds like a fair deal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. I was about to say, what if he's dead? How do I get through the door then? Um, all right. So I'm going to do a hard save here just because I feel like that'd be good to do. Circle of Magi. All right. And here we go. I shall do it. All right. Here we are. I remember this place. Very well. Watch guard of the reaching. Oh, what's this? Uh, no, 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 and stop asking. I'm not getting in trouble because of you again. I don't care what's in the basement, and neither do the senior magi. Everything is about Aldred and the upper floors. I don't know what you're digging up, but those tomes are way older than our lesson texts. An apprentice shouldn't touch them. Ritual note. The threads burn before a giant spear raised. He stands alone, so whispers are known false. Nolan. Scribbled in the corner. Don't need him. Away new reaching. Hmm. Oh, we don't have Liliana, and we can't take her now. That kind of sucks. Erg. All right, no loots for us. Maybe in between episodes, I'll come back and run through this place again with her. And uh, get all the stuff once we're done the quest here. But we are on a mission, and there's no turning back. I am led to understand that the Canari have their own mages as well. Is this so? You would not understand. It is begun. Not understand? Is it mental capacity that you believe I lack? Or are you worried I will sympathize with my so-called brethren? Take your pick. <laughs> is that supposed to make me angry? It means I find myself wishing that your people held proper civilized attitudes towards magic. Hmm. That is a rather hostile thing to say. And yet you continue speaking. Astonishing. Oh, Acolyte Staff. Um, that's exactly what I have right now. Alright. What do you see, boy? What do you see? Just barking at the wall. Um, I probably should look at that codex entry, though. Something about the spot. Um, I don't know. A sword lowered to strike through the ground. Huh. This is part of some really cool quest, I think. Uh-oh. It's a demon. And that's when we met her at the uh, at Ostagar. You, you've returned to the tower. Why did the Templars let you through? Are you here to warn us? She's a senior enchanter, I believe. This was my home. I want to see what's happened to it. I see you still care about the Circle and our tower. Unfortunately, the Circle is in grave danger. Yes, the abominations and demons. You've heard then. I suppose the Templars would not let you in without warning you first. The Templars have barred the doors. They will only open them if they intend to attack us. Is that what is happening? Uh... 
I'm gonna say, don't worry, the Raven Omen has not yet arrived. They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Did Irving survive as well? If anyone could survive this, it would be the first enchanter Irving. It was he who told me to look after the children. It's a long story. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Um, so this is a cool point. I don't know if you can choose again later on, but at least for now, you can either choose to help her or to fight her because she won't let you through. That's the only two ways to get the field down are to either kill her or to agree to help her. Um, so I'm definitely going to agree to help her. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Gregor will only accept if the first enchanter says so. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Uh, will the children be safe here? Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. That makes sense. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Oh, I like this choice. You could have been one of them if things were different. Huh. If that was so, why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. So you'd rather kill yourself? Um, not everyone is like you. And that is made abundantly clear. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Um, <laughs> everyone deserves respect, even cruel people. I don't know if everyone actually deserves respect. That's not necessarily true. Uh, but I don't really like the other choices either. I don't like saying she's right, and I don't want to say keep your poisonous thoughts to yourself. So I'll say everyone deserves respect, even cruel people like you. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Uh, have faith, we will not fail. <laughs> Try not to throw out your back. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Thanks, Wynn. All right, so now, okay, cool, all right. I guess that makes sense, because uh, when she gets out to your party, you get a chance to select your party again. So we're going to select Liliana, Indeed. and we need a tank, so how about good old puppy here. It'd be cool to have these two in a party together just to see, even though it'd be a really powerful party with three mages in it. But it'd be cool to see some of their banter, I think. But we'll do that later. For now, I want Liliana because she can uh, unlock things and dunk into tank because we've used Alistair enough. Yeah, Morgan disapproves. That's okay, though. Uh, I guess we can't level her up at all, can we? She has a lot of good abilities. Oh, and actually, this is cool. So... She is a spirit healer, which is one of the mage specializations. Um, and that gives her group heal and the ability to revive people, which are unique to the spirit healer tree. And she has regular heals as well. So that's uh, pretty cool. I like that she doesn't have any frost talents, yet she froze that demon back there. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, but okay. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to take a minute here. She does have Earthquake, just like I do. She actually has a lot of the same spells I do. Heroic Aura. 
What does that do? Shrugs off missile attacks. Revival, herbalism. So she has herbalism as well. Just the one tier though, so I'll probably put her points into other things soon enough. Um, she has regeneration. Group heal is really good though. Where do I have earthquake on my bar? Oh, I don't have earthquake yet. Okay. I thought about it, but decided against it. I'm going to turn off my frost weapons because only those two actually get it. So it's not quite as worthwhile as it would normally be. Alright, so that's cool. We have a new party member now. And we have a quest. And we have. Can we go backwards from here? We can. So Liliana can open that box for us now. Yay, where was it? There'd be something good inside. Another apprentice cowl. Do I have like 10 of these already? That's okay. Now I have 11. I think I actually sold most of them. Um, anything to say? Boys are better at magic than girls. I feel like Wynn and Morgan might disagree with you there. Now this flame rune. There's the basement. On my way. Guess we can't go down there. That's only for the origin story. Oh, it's you. I remember you. The tower isn't how you remember it, is it? I don't think I remember her, but uh, how have you been? All right, considering the circumstances. I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to, to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like that. The sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. She is very self depreciating. <laughs> you just say you're delirious, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, wouldn't it have been better if Andraste hadn't died at all? Andraste only died Probably because not. of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. Um. I'm going to try to argue with her. The horror of this ordeal has unhinged you, I see. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Yeah, she's a little crazy. What about you, Petra? Look after her, will you? Uh, you sound a little worried. I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. Not after what? I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming, and a demon came round the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. What happened then? As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Oh, I think I remember. Okay. Um, I'm glad she survived. Just look after her, all right? Little she deal. might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Uh, she'll be safe with me. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. That's interesting, because I was going to say did. They kind of set up as if the demon might have possessed her or something, but I I remember what happened. All right, we'll get into that later, though. For now, let's, uh, well, we're going to stop the episode here, actually. And then when we come back... Oh, I didn't talk to this guy yet, did I? I'm sorry that your homecoming has been marred. Still, it is good to see you back, and I am glad you survived Ostagraph. Um... I'm going to tell him Loghain's to blame. Might as well spread the word. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. How'd you find out? Wynne was at Ostagar. That's right. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there. And stay safe. It's good there are other survivors, even if not many. All right. But yep, that's the end of the episode. So don't miss the next one, because we will go back into the circle 
tower and uh, hopefully find First Enchanter Irving.